Hey guys, I'm Kai from Lucas Land and Royals. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I want to give you an update on a clutch that I produced from a Enchi Orange Dream Head Clown to a Enchi Clown. All right guys, so just to be transparent, this is a video that I probably should have released sooner. What had happened was I misnamed the file and so it got pushed down a little bit further than it should have. So as I'm going through and checking out what I'm supposed to be making next, I stumbled across this video and I was like, oh crap, this was from a while ago. So I'm just making up for lost time and posting up this video. By the way, a lot of people have been asking me about what animals I have for sale. And they've been asking me on the videos where I show you the animals after their first shed. Um, unfortunately, that's too late already because a lot of the animals by that time have already sold. Um, so the best time to reach me is when you see the egg cutting video or when you see the cleanup video. With the exception of this cleanup video because it's late due to my lack of organization skills. Or you can check out my Morph Market page and I'll leave a link to it down in the description below so you can check that out. So like I said, either the Morph Market page or contact me when you see the egg cutting video or the cleanup video. That way it gives me a sense of who is interested and then I can reach back out with availability. And one more thing, I just want to say thank you to all the new repeating and loyal customers. Um, without you guys, none of this would be possible. So thank you guys so much for helping me fund this awesome hobby. Again, you guys are amazing. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at this overdue cleanup footage. All right, so what I got here is that clutch and you can see they are all soaking away, getting that perlite washed off of them. But before we get to those, I wanna quickly show you this eggshell. Now, why is this so important? Well. If you remember, when I did the egg cutting, there was one hatchling that had the umbilicus kind of twisted or, or uh, tied around part of its body. And so I was a little bit concerned about that, but I didn't do anything at that moment. I decided to just put the hatchling with its egg uh, back into the incubator. And then the following morning, I got up early to check on it. It was still in the same position or, or seemed to be in the same position. So what I decided to do in the morning was to cut some slits and I cut four along the side. And so the reason I did that uh, is so that instead of being all bundled up inside and not really having space to move around because it wasn't ready to come out um, where it didn't want to come out. So I custom slit that way. It allows the eggshell to expand a little bit while still holding any remaining fluids at the bottom. So it allows uh, these hatching a little bit more space to move around and I was hoping that that would be enough so that it can kind of untangle itself and that uh, seemed to have worked and it was able to come out. Um, it looked fine when it came out so uh, now we'll take a look at the clutch. So I'm going to start or at least try to start with the ones with the lowest number of genes. I'm not sure if I can pick those out. Uh, I think it's this one. So this is the little normal and this was the last one to come out of its egg. Is this normal? Wait, this might not be the normal. Let me check. Uh, you guys are seeing everything. All right, so this is the OD, or maybe it's an Enchi, and this one is an OD, or maybe it's an Enchi. So we'll take a look at all three at the same time and get the heads out of the way. So the pairing uh, is Enchi Orange Dream Het Clown to Enchi Clown. So that means we got Enchi on both sides. So there's a high chance that we got a lot of Enchis in here. And I think that's the case with these two. So I think this is an Enchi. Uh, maybe Enchi, Enchi Orange Dream. I don't know, you guys let me tell. I'm having a hard time identifying these. This kind of looks like Orange Dream to me, but um, it's supposed to have a higher probability of hitting an Enchi. Uh, you guys let me know here. Also, this one looks very, very similar. Again, we got that white outline and uh, very, very dark blacks. Very cool, very pretty. And uh, let's sex these real quick so we know what we're dealing with. That looks like a girl. So that's good. I am male heavy this season, which kind of sucks. That's a boy for sure. Give you another look at this one. And then 
I did say we'll start with the lowest jeans, but I already screwed that up. This is the normal. Last one to come out of its egg, and it's a normal. So all of these three are 100% het for clown. Let's see if we get a boy or a girl on this one. That's a girl. So far, one boy, two girls. Pretty good. Uh, let's see. Let's see how that, uh, oh, what am I saying? I don't know, let's just move on. So we have another het, another het over here. This one's really pretty. So this is an Enchi Orange Dream Het for Clown. Looks so much better than the dad, to be honest. The dad has a lot of pattern, a lot of spots, and this one is so much cleaner, minimal. You got one, two, three, four, any more? Any more? Any more? Hmm? 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 Okay, looks like just four. Four dots, four alien eyes. Everything else is nice and banded. The dad has not as much banding, um, but this one is definitely much better. And I am trying to replace the dad uh, with the male. That's Orange Dream Enchi. And so when I want a male, I don't get a male, but when I want females, I get a bunch of males. So that's just the way it is. So that is a female Enchi Orange Dream. Beautiful. I am trying to stock up on my females. So this being a female will still be a holdback. Moving on, check these two out. Check these two out, guys. Boom. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at these Enchi clowns. This one's got a cool, nice symmetrical head stamp, this or head pattern, and this one's got an asymmetrical. I kind of like the asymmetry a little bit better. Um, so these two were the first to come out of their eggs, and I did get a chance to sex them already. And guess what? Both are male. This one's a little bit um, not a. It's got it's got more of a broken pattern. You can see. I kind of like that one and the asymmetry. So I might be holding one of these back. Probably this one. And this one, it's got more of a connected dorsal stripe. There's like one break there and the rest of it seems to be connected, which a lot of people like that. And the symmetrical pattern on the head. Check that out. Two boys and she clowns. And the last one, really, really happy about this one. And this is the one that had the umbilicus wrapped around its body while I was in the egg and you can see why I was extremely concerned about it because uh, this is like the most beautiful one out of the clutch. Check that out. Look at how orange it is compared to the uh, straight up Enchi clowns. You can see the difference. This one is definitely, definitely uh, Enchi orange dream clown. Um, at one point when I was in the egg, I think I saw like a segment like that. I thought it could have been a super Enchi, but now that it's out, I think it's an Enchi Orange Dream Clown. And I did sex these, or I mean, I did sex this one, and it was a female, but hopefully it'll stay as a female. Yes, indeed, it is still a female. Um, I was kind of hoping for a male just to replace the dad. Again, trying to replace the dad, but uh, that doesn't seem to be working. Still, still, you know, you can't complain about this. Look, look how gorgeous it is. You can't complain. And being a female, definitely, definitely another holdback. Boom. All right, so they are going to go in the incubator. I'm sorry, what am I saying? They're going to go in the rack, hatchling rack, and uh, we'll just let them all shed out. And I'll give you another update once they do. So there you have it. Again, I wanna apologize for posting this video so late, but the good news is whatever I was thinking as holdbacks during the time of that footage is different now. Things have changed. So that might be good news for some of you. That about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you wanna be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share and I'll see you guys next time.